is up everybody welcome to another new day here in Richmond, virginia hope you guys are enjoying your day so far because i know i intend to so let's take our day on have fun while doing it well guys as you can see i am not at the house and i had to call out of work it's too dangerous for other it's too dangerous for others to be around me right now so i'm going to be trying to keep myself alone at least for the next few hours on a, once again that friend that roommate of mine who I thought was a friend decided to break his word again to save his own skin hold on what the heck oh the camera's not broken but I thought it was but honestly guys I don't know if I can deal with that anymore. He's been nothing but trouble ever since I moved in with him and his grandmother. He's broken his word at every turn to save his own skin, all because he's all because he wants to get it, get himself, make himself rich. But I've looked into, I've taken a look into some research, guys. By doing this, he is hurting himself as much as he's hurting others. So he is never going to survive on his own. Never. And he has pushed me to my, he has pushed me, the way he's pushed me last night, brought me to the same point my family brought me to the night I moved out of that room. Seems that no matter where I go, someone's pushing me to my limits. Which is a problem. It's about a quarter after two, guys. I should let you know I forgot it was his grandmother's birthday today. But I am not going out there right now because I'm trying to avoid him. I hope you guys understand. As promised, I would talk. I said I would talk further with you guys after I got it through from underneath that bridge. But let's just say Robbie just stirred up a little situation by th in insulting me through a YouTube video behind my back. Thinking that I would not hear it. Yeah, what a great friend he is. No proper friend does that. None. And no proper friend would abandon the other for themselves either. For their own cable bills. He's focusing on money rather than doing the... He's focusing more on money than rather, rather than doing the right thing. And I can tell you this now. People who choose money over doing the right thing, bad things tend to happen to them. Karma will come back. And I, yes, guys, I am a heavy believer in that. Just because I'm Christian does not mean, does not mean I can't believe in karma. He has had a lot of bad luck because he has been hurting a lot of people. I'm just the latest in a long line. 